about your sanity. Think about everything. I'm going to show you how to make a ten minute five Okay, we got a half inch stub, two and a half inches long. Okay, I got three quarter half inch. <clears throat> Bushing here. stub you can go a lot shorter on that stub I wanted up higher for where I'm putting it okay three-quarter inch T Quarter half inch. Bushing again, which is going to connect this to here.
Now, I got a three quarter inch stub. It's two inches long. Like I said, these can all, you know, however you want to do it. Now, this is the Detrol EV35A2. This is the one I used in my other one. Uh, and I found this on uh, eBay for 30 bucks shipped. Um, but this is the exhaust valve that I'm using. I just like it a lot better. With this stub that I use, this two and a half inch stub, I got about this much clearance for the handle, which is about what I wanted. My last one come down just a little bit lower, and I didn't care for it. I like to be able to pick it up, carry it around. So, anyway. Three quarter, half inch. Another bushing. Um, the uh, the um, solenoid that I ordered is three eighths, and I could not find a bushing that went from three eighths to three quarter, so I just got two bushings. The, uh, when I say the three quarter to half inch, and then, uh, or the, uh, I'm sorry, the three quarter to half inch, and then the half inch to three eighths. So that's how I'm doing it. And then there'll be a three eighth stub. Now, any solenoid. So, mine didn't come in yet. I have to steal from Peter. Pay Paul. Three H inch solenoid. Uh, it's already been reversed, and you know. I, I built these off watching uh, the Bionic DR video, um, and he said, you know, let's go to the website on Fright Props, and it shows you how to reverse these. It was very easy, just like he said. So.
you don't have to tighten that down super super tight um, this I need to put some pipe tape on Well, this is just the muffler, 3 8 muffler for the sol solenoid. I'm gonna snug that, snug that up so I don't damage my solenoid. I'm only using this quick release valve for now. I plan on changing this. I'm putting a uh, regular quick connect lines on here. Now different than my first one I'm just using straight pipe three quarter inch pipe coming out because of the way I'm going to be concealing this There it is. Um, looks like a test fire right now. Okay, here goes first test fire. I haven't fired it off yet, so I don't know if it works or not. Should work. We'll see. Okay. One more time. I think my wires had paint on them. So I wasn't getting very good connection. See what it does now. <laughs> <laughs> 